Perhaps a little eh, eh, momentum will break the eh, eh, surface tension of the eh, well, water. It's not working. Could we try something else, fellas? I'm getting kind of hot. Grubby's right. We'll have to think of a different scheme. It appears it's time I invented a bigger eh, 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 airbag. How's that going to help? I think I see, Grubby. A bigger airbag would give us more room for hot air, and the more hot air we have, the more lift we get. Precisely, my boy. Oh, I get it. Then we can carry heavier things, like a subwater boat. <laughs> or the woolly what's-it. <laughs> That's precisely what we'll uh, do, except we have to get home first. Don't worry. I have an idea. What's that, Teddy? Crystal power. Crystal power? Are you ready? Ready, willing, and able. Then here we go. Next stop, Bounder Pass. <laughs> what a splendid uh, idea. We'll follow the coastline to Bounder Pass. Thunderation! Who can that be? Right in the middle of my beauty nap. I bet it's the king of the mudblops, that glob of goop. The idiot's probably here to beg for my hand in marriage again. I'll say one thing for him. He certainly is a persistent pile of mud. Hmm, I can't say I blame the silly boy. <laughs> I do drive men wild. <laughs> and to tell the truth, I could use another load of coal. All right, take it easy. Why, Kingy, what a pleasant... Ah! It's my son! Was there something you wanted? Or did you ooh, come to spend some time? Well, one cup of tea and then you're out, you understand? This isn't a boarding house. Let me see, I had some used tea bags around here somewhere. Egad! What was that? He's gone, and he didn't even pay for the tea. Gimmick, Grubby, are you all right? We're okay, Teddy. Just keep towing. You certainly know more than you let on, eh, Grubby. Eh, lashing ourselves to the rail like this was a, a, a lifesaver. It's an old sailor's trick, but I'm still pretty scared. Is that? Heavens to Grundo, it is. Another ship caught in this uh, 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 storm. And it's in trouble. You're right. That's a distress uh, uh, signal. We gotta help them. It's the law of the sea. Teddy! Teddy! Teddy, there's Teddy a over, ship there. over there! Look at the oh, ship! Uh, uh, Teddy! Uh, uh, Teddy! The 
This ain't fit weather for man or beast. Lucky for Twig, he's neither of those things. <laughs> he never did have the brains to come in out of the rain. Come to think of it, now with that black box business, he's got no brains at all. And that Queller guy. I help him escape, and what do I get? This stupid uniform and a mouth full of feathers. <clears throat> I've had it. Hey, you, Quilor. Hey! Mind your manners if you want to talk to the Supreme Oppressor! Supreme Swindlers, more like it. You have a problem, you bounding blister head. We made a deal. Where's my wealth? Where's my power? My day off! <laughs> you innocent fool. Your friend Tweed may have been too stupid to double-cross you, but you're dealing with a real villain now. You mean I get nothing? <laughs> Not at all. You get the privilege of serving me. You heard the boss! Now move it! Hoodwinked, bamboozled, played for a sap. He was right about one thing, though. Twig was too stupid to double-cross me. You know something? I actually missed that green galoot. Huh? It's the black box. Hmm. To erase memory, press button. To restore memory, simply reverse crystal. Sounds easy enough. Even Tweed could do that. In fact, I'll do it for him. He ain't much, but he's the only friend I got. I'll show that Quella. What's your hurry, Shorty? So, trying to steal the black box, eh? Uh, had, uh, I was just taking it out to be dry cleaned. I'll dry clean you. Crash, take him away. <laughs> With pleasure. <laughs> Whoa! Ahoy on board! Has anybody hurt? No one hurt, but could you give us a tow? Goodness! What a, a, a peculiar looking bunch of a, a sailors. They're not peculiar gimmick, they're just octopedes. Octopedes? Hang on, octopedes! We'll save ya! Teddy, can you get over there quick? They're octopedes. Well, many thanks, friends. There's no worse enemy for a rudderless ship than an angry sea. It's you. Oh, what are you gaping at, matey? Why, why, you're Zelza. I hope so. <laughs> I'd hate to think I'd been using somebody else's name all these years. Don't you remember me? I don't owe you money, do I? No, but I owe you something. My life. What? No, it couldn't be. Why, it is! It's Grubby! <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's me, all right. Oh, excuse me, I'm forgetting my manners. These are my friends, Newton Gimmick and Teddy Ruxpin. Uh, howdy, uh, do. It's nice to meet you, Zelza. This here is Brenda, my first mate. Uh -huh. uh, hello? And able body, uh -huh. Dr. Peds, feed. Hello? Hello? Gila? Hello? <laughs> and Droggy. Hello? <laughs> And last but not least, our navigator on this voyage, my daughter, Xena. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Gosh, I remember you. We used to play together. You sure have gotten pretty. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you, Grubby. Sure like to talk over old times with you. Maybe later. Right now, we've got work to do. She's right. We should cut away that rigging while the sea's calm. Oh, who would have thought it? So many years ago, we helped a shipwreck little Octopede, and today he's all growed up and returning the favor. A debt repaid, I call it. You never told us you were shipwrecked, Grubby. Or that you had such uh, uh, interesting uh, friends. And pretty, too. Well, I don't talk about it much, but it's something I'll remember my whole life. Well, that's a story I'd like to hear, Grubby, if you don't think it's too personal. Oh, I don't mind telling you fellas. Well, you know that octopedes are natural-born sailors. Most of the traveling we do is on water. Well, one day, I was out sailing with my family. And out of nowhere, a big storm blew up, much worse than the one we had today. Whoa! 
Groovy, take the tiller. If I don't cut that canvas away, it'll drag us down. Aye, aye, Dad. Thinking, son. Now follow me. Grubby, Grubby, where are you, Grubby? You were swept overboard. No wonder you were so uh, 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 nervous when we sailed out onto the uh, uh, lake. Well, tell us the rest of the story. What happened then? I was in the water for days and days just swimming around in circles, when finally... Ahoy, crow! Octopede off the starboard bow! Zelza and her crew rescued me and took me to their village. My folks sailed into their harbor a few days later searching for me. <laughs> that village was in Rolonia. We decided to stay, and that's how I became one of the few octopedes living there. I'm glad your story has a happy ending, Grubby. Me too. There's just one thing. Uh, what's that? Well, ever since that day, I haven't cared too much for swimming. <laughs> oh, the sight of the sea is so pleasant to view. It's a scene I would love to be seen in. To be seen in the sea would suit me to a T or a C, if you follow my meaning. <laughs> But there's one tiny flaw to this glorious plan. He's the kind of a lover who clings to the land. You won't find me exploring the edge of the sand. He's the sort of a guy who will stay, stay high and dry. Oh, I'd love to go in swimming if the water weren't so wet. If the water weren't so wet. If the water weren't so wet. Oh, he'd love to go in swimming if the water weren't so wet. If the water weren't so wet. Now, it's not that I'm delicate, dainty, or odd. I just try to be tidy wherever I trod. And I don't prefer moisture all over my bod. I'm the sort of a guy who stays high and dry. Oh, I'd love to go in swimming if the water weren't so wet. If the water weren't so wet. If the water weren't so wet. Oh, he'd love to go in swimming if the water weren't so wet. With vigor and vim, I dive in for a swim. If the water weren't so wet. If the water weren't so wet. We're in for it again! Octopedes, man your stations! Batten down the hatches! That's a good lad, Teddy! Slow and easy! Look sharp! Keep that tow line free of snags! Don't worry, Captain Gimmick. We'll be all right. It's not a Captain Gimmick. It's just a gimmick. What are you talking about? Your first thought was for the safety of your crew. You didn't want them in danger because of a mistake you might have made? Oh, uh, well, uh, that's true. Well, that makes you a first-rate captain in my log. Maybe someday you could teach me how to fly this thing, Captain Gimmick. <laughs> it would be my pleasure, Captain Zelza. That's the last straw! Son or no son, I'll spear him where he stands! Take that! And that! Who's there? It's me, Eleanor. Can I come in? Thanks for the tea, Eleanor. Uh, next time, though, could you use a fresh bag? I thought there was something strange going on. Twiggy seems so dull. Duller than usual, I mean. You should have seen it. <laughs> there was Coella, shaking in his boots. Twig points the black box, and Zot, he zaps himself. <laughs> So his brain is completely fried? Charbroiled would be a better description. Well, it's not as if he were using it. Uh-oh. I just thought of something. What's that? If Twig caused as much damage as he did when he had a brain... Egad! You're right! There's
There's no telling what he might foul up now that he's totally senseless. We've got to find him for our own good. I'll get my purse. Now, most of the folks I get to meet have usually just got a couple of feet. I guess that's why it seems to me they jump and dance so easily. Now, I don't want to brag, but I've got eight. So when I hit the floor, I should be four times as great with the Octopi Shuffle. A simple little step, the Octopi Shuffle. And it doesn't take much pep. It may not be too elegant, it may not be too hep, but, but it's the Octopi Shuffle. <laughs> hey, hey. It's the Octopi Shuffle. It's not too complicated, the Octopi Shuffle. And it's kind of understated, the oddest dance created, and it's uncoordinated, but, but it's the Octopi Shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> Dokey. I know it's kind of hokey And beside the hokey pokey It's bland You said it But first you jump and jiggle And add a little wiggle Now you do it all together And It's the Octopede Shuffle A slinky little move The Octopede Shuffle With a nifty little groove <laughs> Hey Grubby, have I got it right? Don't worry, you'll improve Cause, Cause it's the Octopede Shuffle <laughs> As far as dancing goes, it isn't number one. But you'll be glad to know that at least it's almost done. The Octopede Shuffle. <laughs> the Octopede Shuffle. The Octopede Shuffle. Is everything all right, Grubby? I guess so. I thought you would have been a little more uh, excited. This has been quite a day for you. Oh, I'm excited all right, Gimmick. But I feel a little confused, too. Why is that, Grubby? Oh, I just wish I knew how that cute octopede girl felt about me. Zena? <laughs> Why, I could tell you that in a jiffy. <laughs> you could? How? With the crystal stethoscope. It shows me whether someone is telling the truth or uh, uh, not. Really? We'll find out how she feels about you, my boy. Don't uh, uh, worry. This won't hurt a bit, Cena. It's just a little uh, uh, invention I'm working on. That's all right. I don't mind helping you, Captain Gimmick. Now, I'll just ask you some uh, questions. Uh, uh, what is your name? Uh, you know that. It's Zena. Do you like a uh, Grubby? He's all right, I suppose. I haven't given it much thought. <laughs> well, thank you, Zena. Uh, that's all for uh, uh, now. Hmm. If my calculations are correct, she's head over heels in uh, in love with him. All hands batten down. This is the strangest weather I've ever seen in all my years at sea. Yes, I've noticed that, uh, too. These storms occur with uh, uh, alarming frequency. This isn't just a storm, Captain. It's a hurricane! to me. Ah, fresh specimens. The sorcerer will want to know about this. 